Hey guys, it's Lauren J. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I like to do get ready with me style videos using products that are new, new to me or just need a little bit more love in my collection. Today I'm going to be using products that are new to me and also need more love in my collection. So I recently made an order at Dior. Um, I just wanted to treat myself. I had a really great experience buying something for a family member over the Christmas holiday and just wanted a little bit of that for myself. Um, so later on, I'll be putting in a few, uh, like a video of my little unboxing, and I'm gonna be using some of those products. So that is the new to me part on the needs more love in my collection is the Lorac Noir palette and just some uh, foundation base products that uh, I need to use a little bit more. And um, I just have been feeling a little bit dry a little bit bleh. um it's getting colder again the snow is starting to fall and i just feel like i have some dry patches and i just want to feel pretty and you don't need makeup to feel pretty but today i just want to do something to make myself feel pretty so it's all about how you feel and so i'm just going to use some luxury or luxury ish <laughs> luxury aspiring products so that's what I'm going to do today. So if you're interested in seeing the look that I come up with today and the new products from Dior that I'm going to be using, please keep watching. Okay, so hair is doing what it wants to do. Brows are doing what they want to do. Face has sunscreen and skincare on. So I did use the e.l.f. Blonde uh, lip, Instant Lip Brow Pencil today, so not everything's luxury. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to love your drugstore. And I am going to be starting off with the Danessa Myricks Beauty Oil. Now I just need a little bit more hydration today. So this is the beauty oil. It does have gold flecks in it, so they're not super noticeable. But I just want a little bit of, just want a little bit of hydration. Because I do have some really dry parts under my eyes and around my eyebrows. I know the high points on my face. To sort of counteract that oil a little bit, um, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer, my one of my favorite primers ever. Again, not everything's luxury today because I love an e.l.f. primer. They're just, they just work for me. And this is, like I said, a putty primer. It's got salicylic acid in it but it is also just very smoothing and just very good for my skin. I'm just gonna let that all settle down for a minute and move on to my eyes. And because my lids tend to be a bit oilier and because this is one of the uh, best eye primers that keeps my shadow on, I'm going to be using the Matte Eye Primer from Ulta. And again, I'm going to be doing a look with the Lorac Noir palette. This is one of my newest palettes, again, new to me. Um, I bought this this year with Ulta Points, and it's been out for quite a while. One of my favorite palettes of all time is the Lorac Fairy Tale Forest palette, and this one is quickly becoming a quick runner up to it because the shades are just beautiful. Like, I, I did a look yesterday, and I'm going to do the same look today with a bunch of these uh, bronzy colors, and it's just so smoky and lovely. And I do want to go out tonight uh, for a friend's birthday, so I do want to just feel a little put together. And as you can see, this thing is real dirty, so I've been using it quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to go into the shade Burgundy here, one of the mattes, in the crease. See how that starts out really heavy, but you can really shear it out. It's just really a smooth 
easy to work with type of mat. And just blend, 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 blend. And I'll be fixing the edges of this later so I'm not too worried about how it's looking near the brow bone. And then taking a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into Silver Moon here. And just put that all over the lid except for right like on the center of the lid, outer part of the lid, not all the way in though. You can see how this on top of the burgundy mat just kind of gives it like an extra dimension. Like not quite a duochrome, but something almost like that. It's just like a really pretty grown up shimmer. And then taking more of a pointed brush, I'm going to go in with Stardust here, which is a little bit, they're, they're very similar in color, but this one is a little bit, um, has a little bit more uh, larger flecks of shimmer in it. You can see how there's sort of more silver flecks coming out in this one. And then going into white diamond here with another pencil brush. And just working that into the inner corner. This is again a really, this one it really is a topper shade and it's quite emollient. So you do have to use a uh, kind of rougher brush to get into the pan without developing hard pan. But that shimmer, man, that is so pretty. And then I'm going into this brightest matte shade here called Ecru with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to clean up around the brow, brow, brow bone. <laughs> lighten that up a little bit and blend it in to my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with my one of my favorite new to me products. This is the Hyper Easy Liner in Pitch Brown from Maybelline. I just love the color of this. I love how it goes on. I think it's beautiful. I don't know, I just think this color just emphasizes my eye color really nicely. You know that the face has set with primer a little bit. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Halo Glow again. We're dipping into drugstore. I just bought this product, um, showed it in my last e.l.f. video. And I don't need to use a ton of it, just a little bit of illumination to the face. I am going to be using a lighter coverage base product today. And as you can see, this isn't really coverage, like it's not covering up redness or anything, but you do get a little bit of a glow underneath. Then I'm going to be using uh, one of my combinations that I just love to use. This is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint from Chanel and the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in 140N, which is my perfect shade. So I put down a drop, not a drop, I put down one pump of this and one pump of this. And I'm using the Rose Ink number no. three foundation brush and mixing them together on the back of my hand. And just applying a layer. And 
but you can see how this isn't super high coverage. I mean, the Luminous Foundation has pretty good coverage on its own. But the Water Fresh Tint really just adds some hydration and some, it really makes the dry down a lot more beautiful, a lot more even. And just makes the Anastasia foundation a little bit easier to work with with a brush. Because it's normally the type of foundation you'd apply with a sponge. But I've been enjoying doing it with a brush lately. Um, it's just what's been working for me. I just haven't wanted to deal with cleaning sponges and all that kind of stuff. I just just want to paint it on, buff it out, and just like enjoy like that luminous, refreshing feeling, which is what the Water Fresh Tint really gives me. But I just need a little, when I need a little bit more coverage, I just want that drop of the Anastasia for my for matching my skin tone. And again, it's not like a ton of coverage, but I do feel like it has evened out the skin tone. So my redness here is a little bit more down, especially on here, over here. And it's just a little bit blurring. And going in with my concealer, the Purely is Perfect Glow BB Concealer. Really, really enjoying this since I got it. I got this as a gift. Um, for my sister from her Ipsy, but it's been rapidly becoming one of my favorite easy to use concealers. It's just very hydrating, very easy to blend out and does offer coverage without looking cakey. It doesn't dry very fast. It's like I said, easy to work with. So I can just put it where I need it to and blend it out where I need it to. And it's very easy to blend out with your finger, but I have been using a brush lately just to keep a little bit more coverage. And my objective here is to really just tone down as opposed to cover up what my skin looks like. Um, the redness is always gonna be there. The dryness right now is just always gonna be there. So I'm just doing things to mitigate it a little bit, but I don't want like a mask, so just kind of layering products and seeing how they fit together and serve my skin. And then to set under the eyes center of the face, the Kiko Blossoming Beauty Living Perfecting Powder. It's the Kiko White Powder. Just enough to set but not accentuate the dryness. And then going in with the Maybelline Sky High in True Brown. And then before I go in with bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my liquid blush. So this is the Water Fresh Blush from Chanel in light pink. This is two pumps. That was messy, oh well. And this is actually the brush that comes with the Water Fresh tint. I do wish they would include one of these with the blushes cause it would just be a lot easier, but uh, I guess that would just up the price of the blush, which is already pretty high. This is just a nice base color, kind of a, for me, a barely there rosy tint. That can just be a really nice base for something else. And it really, it, like the Water Fresh tint, it really does dry down beautifully and just sink into the skin. And going in with my Physicians Formula Bread and Butter Bronzer. Going back to drugstore. Here it is. <laughs> it uh, it broke, but that's fine. You can see how there's just like a rim of bronzer in there. A little bit harder to use, and I've used pretty much all of it at this point. So I'm getting ready to move on to something else. 
but I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of this. Which is a surprise. I did not expect to like this as much as I did, or as much as I do. But I'm just really been vibing with it. So there we go. And then just to top off the blush, because I'm not really using highlighter right now, I'm going to use one of the shades from the Jouer Rose Gold Blush Palette. I'm going to use a touch here of Rose Petal on a highlighter brush. And just do it really just softly over the top of the Chanel blush. Gives it a nice little bit deeper, softer pink. Just like a little bit glowy. Not super shimmery. And just uh, doing a finishing powder of the Hourglass Diffused Light and the Dewy Set from ABH. Okay, so this is almost the finished look. Now we're going to go in with lips. And I did promise you some Dior in this video, and I haven't used it up until now. But this is my newest uh, Dior Shine lipstick purchase. I picked up the Miss Dior 1947, the limited edition shade from the Millefiore collection. I uh, did recently pick up the case, the Millefiore case that goes with it. I'm not going to pick it up right now because I don't want to get it I don't want to get the canvas dirty, um, but I originally bought the uh, refill in Canage for that, which I really do enjoy, but I wanted to pick up the special limited edition shade. If I can pull this out. <laughs> but the, the normal case just has the, um, the black with the translucent or transparent bottom and, you know, Dior, and then it does have the name on the bottom, which is good. Um, and then it does have the bullet with the CD on it, which I will soon be quickly erasing, but this is a shine lipstick and it's supposed to be like a luminous rosewood, I think. Um, and rosewood is always just a siren call to me. So I'm going to use this one today. That's just a really pretty neutral pink shade. Super pretty. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I have this in my collection, like in my Sephora lip stories. This is probably like close to We, one of my favorites, um, O-U-I. But just really pretty and luminous. Um, I noticed these don't last super long and they don't really take to blotting. So once you blot, you just kind of get rid of all the pigment. So it's not really like super long lasting or sturdy, but the, it is quite hydrating, quite, it is shiny, but not super shiny. That's just a really pretty color, and I like it with the blush, and I like it with the eye look. Just a little bit toned down. Like, if I wanted to do nighttime, I'd do, like, a deeper browner look, like Canage or, like, one of my um, uh, Rouge Allures from Chanel. Or even, like, the Merit in 1990, 1995, 19, 1999. It's the 1990s. Here. I'm really pleasantly surprised by that color. I mean, I knew I was going to like it, but just really surprised at how much I like it right now. And again, it's just new lipstick energy, so. Okay, hairs down and brushed. And yes, I do have a side part. I am constantly living somewhere between 1985 and 2007 with my clothes and my hairstyle, so that's just how it is, and I like my hair over here as opposed to straight down the middle. And I just want to share some of the things that I picked up in my Dior order. So 
This is the box that it came in, and it does say Dior right on top, and um, in the video I'll show either now or earlier or alongside this one, um, you can see that it came with this nice little, this is holding receipt holder, did not come with the hair, I brought that, um, but this is really pretty. And the little CD sticker actually was on, um, this little sticker was actually on the, um, one of the items that I have in here. So it didn't come on, but on top, this was like a gift with purchase. It is this beautiful pouch. I was not expecting this pouch to be this big. I was expecting it to be like a tiny little like sample pouch or something, but this is beautiful. And this is the, I believe this is the, um, Lunar New Year version of the holiday packaging. So the, the holiday packaging um, was in a, like a dark blue with this kind of uh, constellation uh, floral design. And this is obviously the red and gold design and it's got stars all over it. It's highlighting sort of the dragon on top here, but it's also got um, the constellations like Perseus, Cassiopeia, and um, it's got a lynx and a giraffe, um, but it's just like, it's so intricate and so stunning. And I don't know what I'm gonna put in here, but it's beautiful. I love it so much. Like this is just gorgeous. Like Dior is really killing it with the presentation. I have been so impressed with their presentation, like a little bit more than actually Chanel because Chanel is very minimalist. Um, they don't give a lot of like like free gifts or anything. Dior is just really a lot better at that lately for me. Chanel is always going to be like a classic like luxury experience for me, but also just like really enjoying what Dior is bringing to the table right now. Uh, I picked up this cream abricot. So this is the fortifying cream for nails. There is there was like a red version of this for I don't know earlier this year. But this is just giving me like 1950s plastic energy like it's not like not incredibly like you can tell it's plastic but it's got that like uh i don't know what is that that like bakelite energy like the very vintage energy and then the cream inside and you just put that on your nails so like apricot oils and apricot creams are supposed to be really nourishing for your, I guess your nail beds and your nails, which I can always use. This is a $30 product, but there's quite a bit in it. And I can see myself using it because my hands with my eczema get dry, the nails get very cracked. And if this makes me take care of them a little bit more, I'm all about that. Cause like I said, this was $30, so not super cheap. Although probably honestly one of the cheaper things on the Dior website because it is Dior. And I'm just loving this like 1950s almost Avonish vibe. Like I don't know, I love it. It's like something Gucci would do. And again I did pick up the Miss Dior 1947 Dior Addict Shine Lipstick. So this is the case, this is the, well this is the package, this is the case and I have the color on my lips. And one of the things I ordered was the Miss Dior candle. So the Millefiore candle that came out earlier this year. They still have a lot of those pieces, if not all of those pieces left. So I did pick up the candle. Now this is very small. It's like, I think this is a $49 candle and it's like, it's not even eight ounces. It's what, three ounce candle. So this is very votive. Like I knew that when I was buying it, I knew it was going to be small, but the Millefiore design is darling just and then it's a pink candle with the Miss Dior scent not incredibly strong right now but I haven't lit it yet so and also I've got a candle going in the back so um but there's just like a paper label on here which like I'm not too impressed with that it looks like it's gonna come off or maybe not who knows but anyway like I kind of wish the Miss Dior label wasn't on there I kind of wish it was just the Millefiore design but Super pretty, just like it's ceramic, really lovely. And I am in love with candles. Quite a few samples with my order. So I got my little Dior pouch, my white linen Dior pouch. I got samples of the new Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. So 
some of their um, hottest shades, I guess, because you have the hollow pink in here, and you have the shimmer macadamia, you have intense, and you have 001 pink. So I did get the little lip brush with it. And so I'm excited to try that out. Some people have people that I watch have been really, really enjoying this new for reformulation. It's existed before, but it's been reformulated. So pretty excited about that. And then I also got a little mini of the Velvet 999. So the classic red shade from Dior and this. I know it's a little bit, it's getting fingerprints all over it because I have the apricot stuff on, but it's got the CD on top and then look at that like it has the little Dior on it but then it's just like it's got this velvety like I would imagine like the Lisa Eldridge I have not seen those but I know they have this sort of velvety um sort of texture imprinted on them I'm just like that just looks like velvet and I'm so excited to try this at some point I'm not going to try it today because I don't need a like true red on it for this look oh, and it's just a midi it's just a mini, but you know, that's pretty much all I'm ever going to need for a, like a red like this. And I did pick up one of the Collection Privé Eau de Parfum samples. So this sample was an Oud Rosewood. It's sitting over there somewhere. It's just like a little, it's just a sample. And then this I am super excited about. This is one of the Collection Privé like super sample or deluxe samples, whatever you want to call it. But this is the 0.25 milliliter. So if you've got the like... There's like these sets that you can get that have like 10, 8 or 10 of them in there. And this is the size that you would get, so the 0.25 ounces. This is in Lucky, but I got this free with a $150 order, I think. Um, but it's got, it's basically a mini of the Collection Privé. And the same like design up top and everything. And it's just a screw top and it's open, but... Yeah, so pretty. Lucky is, I'm, I really do, I've only, I haven't put this on me before, but I have smelled it, but it's just, this is so nice. This presentation is so nice, and I just, like, it makes me feel luxe. <laughs> it comes in, you know, the little cardboard uh, package, like the normal size or the larger sizes would. But yeah, like, so this is the size that you would get if you ordered the 8 to 10 size, like, I don't know what they call it, sampler or whatever. Um, there's a couple of them. There's one for Lunar New Year. There's one for the uh, the Christmas holiday. There's one for um, just like regular, um, I think that also comes with 10, just like a regular sort of sampler of the collection Privé. Uh, but I've really been enjoying these scents. Like, they're really just beautiful. I've been getting back into perfumes again and um, I recently picked up one of the Lizzo's from Chanel, the Dovid, and just been loving that, just been spraying myself down with it. So really been into perfumes lately. And then the last thing I picked up, which you can see in here, and I love this shredded tissue paper in here. It says Dior all over it. Um, but I picked up one of the five couleurs one of their quints. So I talked about this in a recent video that I really wanted to try some Dior eyeshadow. And I finally just, I don't even know if I'm going to use this instead of but just stare at it and getting greasy fingerprints all over it. No! But this is one of the limited edition ones that came out earlier this year. It was originally an Asian exclusive and then it came to the Dior site. This is my first ever Dior Quint, so it comes in the shiny packaging with a little CD on there. And this is Golden Bouquet. I mean, it's nothing special, but that engraving, that embossing is life. Like, that is just. That is Lux. That's just beautiful. And the reflection in the mirror is beautiful. The colors, I mean, they all look the same beige color. I mean, you can, when you, when you look at them, you can see the differences. You're probably not going to see many of the differences on the eye. It's just 
beige to gold tones with a brown in the middle. I just I just wanted this. Like I've been thinking about this palette for a really long time and everybody's joked about it and talked about how there's no reason for it to exist and everything and sure, fine. Whatever. Um but I this is this is beautiful to me. This is like artwork to me. It's so pretty. It's like, you know, the Byredo quints um in the little raindrop thing. Um but the embossing on this is just beautiful and I am so happy to have it and um, again I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna use it I'm, I will probably at some point but this embossing is just beautiful so golden bouquet finally just went and ordered it um, also thinking about the uh, one of the quads or the quads one of the quints from the holiday collection if it's still around at some point if you want to pick up the galaxy one if it's around hopefully maybe on sale but we'll see like I just really enjoyed the experience of opening this up and having these items again just being able to sample what Dior has uh, because I've never really been really huge into the makeup brand uh, I do love the clothing I really want a book tote <laughs> Um, I've wrote and obsessed with the book totes um, and the Lady Dior bags, but more of the book totes. Um, and so just getting a chance to sample things and the collections they've come out with this year or last year, I should say 2022. Uh, they just, I feel like maybe it's just because I've been paying attention. I'm sure their collections before have been amazing, but it just feels like they're just a step above at this point. So, and again, I'm just super excited about this and like this and they're just like so simple and just like you know all right so anyway i hope you enjoyed my mini luxury haul and i hope you enjoyed seeing this look with the um with my luxury slash luxury aspiring slash drugstore um new new to me and needs more love in my collection makeup I really enjoy this look. I love the Lorac Noir palette. It just makes me feel so grown up. And I love this lipstick. I love my cheeks. And just I just, just want to feel pretty today. And I feel pretty. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those would be welcome. And all of them would be appreciated. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.